Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Black female security guard terminated after punching Trump supporter in viral video. The night before Donald Trump supporters started a riot while storming the U.S. Capitol last week, a black security guard says she punched a white Trump supporter in self-defense. Based on that incident, she says she has been fired from her security job and faces criminal charges. According to Atlanta Black Star, Washington, D.C. resident Ashanti Smith, 28, is seen in a viral video clip punching the white woman who was identified as Therese Duke. Duke's 18-year-old daughter then took to social media to publicly shame her mother. Publicly sh publicly shame her mother. Smith started a GoFundMe campaign to raise $85,000 for legal defense. She has so far raised over $120,000. Greetings, my name is Ashanti Smith. I am a 28-year-old African-American woman who lives in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. I recently was assaulted, attacked, and harassed by a group of Trump supporters on Black Lives Matter Plaza in Washington, D.C. on January 5, 2021. A video has surfaced where I was surrounded by a group of Trump extremists and I honestly fear for my life. The video makes me look like I am the aggressor, but it does not show what happened prior to my defending myself. People shoved me, tried to take my phone and keys, yell racial epithets at me, and tried to remove my mask. I asked them to social distance and stay out of my personal space due to COVID-19. They refused. And I was afraid of being hurt and harmed after being assaulted. I defended myself. I am now facing criminal charges along with being relieved from my employment pending an investigation, which places me in a hardship situation at the moment. I am asking for support and help with funds for my legal fees and to maintain the essential things that I need to survive during this time. Any amount of help is truly appreciated. So basically, if you didn't see the video, like she was talking talking um saying back up and then the woman i guess grabbed for her phone or mask and she just turned around and decked the woman with a right straight but this is the thing man trump supporters are aggressive but then when somebody checks them or put them in their place they're seen as the bad guy and this is the problem that we have had in america and i'm and, and let's get this cleared up Shannon Sharp, if you ever say there's two Americas again, I will blast you on your form. Uh, I don't care if you respond or not. I will continue to blast you on Twitter and I will blast you on these videos. You are out of line. There is no such thing as a two damn America. It is one America and that is America. <laughs> that we live in where it has been double standard since you were born and since I was born. So I don't even want to hear that crap talking about two of them. No, it has always been America. The laws, yeah, people be like, well, the laws are the same. Yeah, but the laws are used differently to certain groups. But this woman here, man, please go fund her. Um, She's doing the right thing because John Rittenhouse, they raised stuff for him. They raised all this, these, these fund me's and everything for him. So I don't see nothing wrong with this. Um, and her name is Ashanti Smith. And. So this this is and she has so far um raised over 120,000 which is great man and I hope man she gets the right legal representation and I hope she gets off because I don't feel she was wrong. I feel she was defending herself and it's always like this the Trump supporters first you guys allow them to just raid the the capital. They could just get in and chill in the capital and and relax. But this is the thing. America does not want to solve its problem, which is the bigotry and the racism and the prejudice that is in this country. 
and they don't want to solve it. They don't want to stand up and admit their wrongs and admit their faults for what they did, which was allow these group of people to storm a White House and allow them to get away with privilege and to walk out of there, you know, with dignity when if it was us, we would have been shot, gassed, thrown down. It, this is the reality, people. This is the reality. We don't need to hear no more about, oh, well, um, well, man, we're equal and I don't want to hear that crap. After this happened, white people, you need to shut the hell up now. I don't want to hear no more about we're equal and there's no equality in this country. And if you couldn't see that from what happened, then you're an idiot. <laughs> you're just blind. And a lot of you white people are very blind. Um, and Ashanti, hold your head up, baby. You'll you'll be all right. Just just keep going through the protocols. Keep on um, raising your money, and you know we'll say a prayer for you. Thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you would like to donate to the page, you can cash at me at the word welcome, the number two, and then H D I I T V. Thank you for listening, and we're out. Deezy.